Hello. Thank you for joining me. How are you? Europe's best beaches. 2019, admittedly. I mean, I, I don't think beaches change super often, so I'm hoping this is still relevant. Hopefully COVID didn't destroy any of these beaches. Mojo Travels. So Watch Mojo made a travel channel. Here we go. We got to watch. I'm interested. I love a nice beach. <laughs> and I live in Indiana. So you can see how sad that is. But at least I have videos to watch. These are the best spots for some R&R &R this summer. Welcome to R&R. And R. I don't even know what that is. Travels, and today we're counting down our picks for Europe's best beach destinations 2019. Are you a fan of our videos? Be sure to subscribe to Mojo Travels and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. Okay. For this list, we're looking at the coolest, or should we say the hottest, beach destinations uh, throughout uh, Europe. No, you don't want it to be too hot, too cold. It's definitely better to be too hot, but not too hot. As nominated by the World Travel Awards. Cannes, oh. France. Located on one of the French Riviera's most beautiful stretches of coastline, Cannes has plenty to offer for people from all walks of life. I'm gonna be honest, right off the bat, this looks beautiful, and the fact that there's not like one, three people every square meter is a big plus. There are numerous private and public beaches. If you've got money to burn and crave luxury, you can opt for the former, but the public options are just as stunning. Okay, now that's a lot of people. Just a lot more crowded and busy. They're well maintained, mm. and some public beaches will let you use showers and rent equipment, just like the fancier ones do. And of course, the Plage Massé might be the most famous beach. Oh, I'm sure they would love for you to rent equipment. That costs you money. Beach of all, at the location of the Cannes Film Festival's public screenings. Oludinus, Turkey. Ooh. At the intersection of the Mediterranean Sea and the Aegean Sea is Damn. Oludinus, a small village in western Turkey with a gorgeous stretch of golden sand for guests to enjoy. Its name is generally translated to Blue Lagoon because, well, crystal clear blue water is what you'll find. It's Turkey's most popular beach wow. destination for good reason. Turkey, low key Turkey. I did not know Turkey had beaches like this. Thanks not only to the beach, but also to the quaint village and surrounding mountains. How can water be so blue? Which make it feel like an especially intimate destination. The best part is its size. It I will say that sand looks a little coarse, but it's okay. It's big enough that all beach going tourists will always be able to find cozy spots on the sand somewhere. Marbella, Spain. Far on the southern coast of Spain in the Costa del Sol, the Look at that backdrop. This is like Hawaii. The resort destination type thing. of Marbella is hot and dry throughout the year with no shortage of sun or sea. You can find no fewer than 23 beaches lining the shores, many of which have won awards because of their high quality. Beaches. Now, what does it even mean? I mean, you gotta remember, I'm from Indiana. What does it mean to have 23 beaches? Isn't it all just one beach? Beaches like Nikki Beach are famous for their luxury and the big name VIPs they attract, but they won't be too kind to your wallet. Closer to the city center, there are more relaxed beaches, like Bounty Beach, with plenty of facilities available. But really, you can't go wrong with Cabo Pino Beach, Playa de Alicate, Playa de Rio Real, and the list goes on and on. Corfu, Greece. Wow! While it's in How do you even get to this beach? I don't think anybody has found it yet. <laughs> the Ionian Sea. I would love to be the only person. I'd go right here, right over here. Far further north than many of Greece's famous Mediterranean islands, Corfu is globally renowned as a paradise. The Long Island's eastern coast is where you can find most of the popular tourist beaches, like Agio Spiridonas and Contocali, and many more. While on the island's northwestern edge, there's beautiful Sidari and its famous Canal d'Amour. Though, if you're after wild parties, you can't do better than <laughs> Cavos Beach and its legions of British tourists to the south. With more pebble beaches and stretches of grassland than elsewhere in Pebble Beach. I've never been to a. I didn't know a pebble beach was a thing. Uh, is there a reason you would go to a pebble beach? Is it like not as hot on the feet? Like I'm trying to think. Greece, Corfu is a unique and varied landscape. Peloponnese, Greece, and mainland. I mean, of course, any beach is better than no beach. So I'm. I'm I'm not saying like, why would you go to a pebble beach? Well, if that's what what's there, then yeah, I would go. Greece. But I'm just wondering, is there like 
Do some people prefer a pebble beach? This southern peninsula is clearly no slouch either when it comes to amazing beaches. Away from many of the small, bustling islands and the metropolis of Athens to the northeast, it's easy to find a stunning wow. coastal village to while away the hours sunbathing in Damn. areas like Laconia and Messenia. Voidokilia Beach and its crescent ship it looks fake. of dunes is a real stunner. Lots of places here remain relatively untouched by tourism in spite of Greece's popularity as a destination. So don't expect to have to fight against insufferable crowds if you pick the right place. Mavrovuni Beach is wonderful. While Simos Beach and its environs are sometimes referred to as the Caribbean of Greece and is especially celebrated Damn. for its beauty. Lovely white sand beach, anyone? Sardinia, Italy. Oh my God, you got two beaches. A pebble beach and a, and a sand beach. West of mainland Italy lies this large island boasting over 1,000 miles of coastline with every type of beach your heart desires. The vivid blue waters and stark white sand of beaches like Spiaggia Rena Bianca and Spiaggia di Schivu will thrill you with their beauty. Not to mention, I've never seen like this type of thing at an American beach, like rocks, like sticking up out of the sand. It's it's cool. Mention their warm seas, perfect for swimming and other water adventures. Sardinia is also a popular location with the rich and famous, who also frequent its beaches. Sardinia offers plenty of options for people who don't enjoy lounging Sardinia. in the sun all day too, with many hiking and climbing opportunities, but hey, this is a beach paradise. Mallorca, Spain. Wow. Simply put, there's a beach for everyone in this Spanish haven, no matter who you are or what you're looking for. Family-friendly beaches are definitely on offer here, but there are also racier and party-oriented beaches. And of course, nudist beaches for braver or more confident sun- I forgot about the nudist beach. Bathers. More than- I don't think there's any nudist beaches in America. Like, not a single one. I don't think that's legal here. 30 of Mallorca's hundreds of beaches have blue flags, meaning they're ra- That would feel so freeing, though, to be naked and jump into an, an ocean wave. Hmm. It is the continent's best beaches by the European Union. For be but I feel like that's what they did in the movie Jaws at the beginning of the movie, and they got eaten. Beautiful water, a beach like the southeast coasts, Calamondrago, a prime snorkeling spot is a good bet, but you certainly can't go wrong with the awesome Playa de Muro. Wow, I feel like I'm there. Oh. Algarve, Portugal. Voted Europe's best beach destination not just this year, but also in half a dozen previous years, the Algarve is simply superb. The turquoise waters stretching along the Atlantic Portuguese coast are balm for the human spirit and wash up against approximately 150 beaches. One fascinating spot is Benagil Beach, which lies next to the Benagil Cave, a unique rock formation with a natural skylight. Some That's stunning. I would love to go to one of these caves. I mean, I'd be terrified to go inside. But wow, that is beautiful. Next to the Benagil Cave, a unique rock formation with a natural skylight. Some of the Algarve's best beaches are either secluded or quiet, such as Praia de Marina or Praia de Casella Verja, while some are certainly livelier. Like I wouldn't even be able to say it. I, that's why I can never find like go to these beaches. I can't even say the name. Is Praia de Marina? Praia de Domina. Or Praia de Casella Verja. Praia de Casella Verja. While some are certainly livelier, like Maya Praia. Maya Exciting Praia. Exciting spots like Praia de Vala Figuera also offer I'm great surfing to the one. more adventurous of you out there. There's definitely a beach here for everyone. Do you agree? Damn, well, those are all way nicer than any Indiana beach. So there you go. <sighs> hmm. Well, that made me sad. <laughs> um, I'm going to go outside and enjoy the corn. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys are doing good. I'll see you tomorrow. Be there. Bye.